and uh, welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the programme which relies upon the performer's sharp brains, quick wits and brown trousers. Featuring tonight, Jim Sweeney, the better half of Sweeney and Steen, and Stephen Steen, the better seven-eighths of Sweeney and Steen, then Stephen Frost, 50% of the Oblivion Boys, and finally, the one and only but original vulgar fraction, Tony Slattery. Ladies and gentlemen, the <laughs> Now, the, um, the first game we're... The first game we're playing tonight is called Emotion Options. It'll feature Jim Sweeney and Steve Steen, if you'd like to come down. And what I'd like to do is to act out a little scene. Uh, but uh, we're going to give some different emotions for you to act it out in, and we'll change between emotions just to jolly things up. So, anyone got some suggestions of an emotion like, say, something like paranoia, which I'll chuck in as a suggestion of my own? Ecstasy. Ex ecstasy, yes. Hate. Ecstasy, hate, par Horror. Sorry? Horror. Horror. Yes, that's a good one. Hysteria. Hysteria and passion. Jealousy. Jealousy, that's quite enough. We've got all the emotions there, so we can... Mm. I think, all the emotions Ooh, I know. Yes. Anyway, now, um, <laughs> the little scene I'd like you to do... Yeah? The scene I'd like to do are your two soldiers in the trenches. OK, start with no particular emotion, and we'll cut in with those in a moment. Can you say anything? Bitte? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Sorry, I was... I was just practicing the English accent for when we get over there. Oh, good, so good, so good. Yes, they'll be charging soon. Then we shoot them. Shoot them? Where? Oh, wandering accent. Fit the gun! <laughs> <laughs> okay, do a bit of ecstasy, will you? Oh, the gun! <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Pull it, pull it, pull it! It's a lot! Yes! <laughs> oh! I've never seen one like this before! You've never taken ecstasy before, then? Give it to me! Paranoia. Oh, soldiers. Oh, no. They're all looking at me. <laughs> Wait a minute. There has your accent gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not German. You're English. You're English, aren't you? Hate. You git. Yes. <laughs> I hate the English. One little slip and you throw it back at me. Yes. Face. <laughs> Two little slips. The slip you had on last night, you bitch. <laughs> yes, I threw that back in your face as well. What a lousy lover you are, and you told me you were so good with your big gun. And end on horror. Ah! <laughs> My God! Yes, I'm naked! Naked! <laughs> Covered in cling film. Oh. oh, that's quite enough horror for me. Thank you, thank you very much. Excellent. Uh, all right. Oh, look. Oh, I think I get emotional enough that give you a thousand points each for that one. Now let's go on to film and theatre styles for Tony and Stephen. Let's come down. They're going to act out a little scene. I'll try and give them just a moment. Uh, but we'll act some film or theatre styles for them to act in. Anyone got any We're suggestions? Pantomime. French Ballet. fast melodrama. Ballet. 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 Oh, that's a good one. We don't often get. Carla Lane. Difficult Trumpton, one. Macallan. Sorry, what was that? Trumpton. Trumpton. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the whole elderly people in tonight, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what was this one down here? Weston. Sir, Sir, Ian, McCallan. Sir, Ian, Sir Ian McKellen, Weston. So I think we can combine that. I've got every possible form there. So uh, you've to be, please, Stephen, can you be a fortune teller? <coughs> and Tony will be a, someone coming to you to uh, have his fortune told, I suppose. <laughs> I came to you last week. You didn't say anything about the revolving door. <laughs> what sort of fortune teller are you? Well, you didn't cross my palm with silver like you said you were going to do. I'll cross your mouth with my signet ring if you don't shut up. <laughs> well, let, what can I do for you this week? Show us your... Trump... <laughs> Trumpton. It's a miracle, Windy Miller. That's right. <laughs> and all because I knew it were going to happen. That's right. My legs come back. That's right, and now that I can read your fortune by sawing it off again and counting the rings on it. That's right. <laughs> I had no idea what Trumpton was, and I still haven't got any idea. <laughs> <laughs> Melodrama. Why, how dare you come back to my, to my tent? My moustache is bigger than yours! <laughs> No fortune teller. But you you can't straddle the range of emotion. What don't you see? Ballet. <laughs> <laughs> this is prison. <laughs> this is prison brutality. <laughs> <laughs> don't Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll give it. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
<laughs> 50 points each hour. Double your points, Stephen, for what was an excellent leap. <laughs> so much better if you'd actually missed Tony, but there we are. Let's, uh, anyway, let's go to a game called New Job, Old Job. Uh, now, Jim and Steve, you'd like to come down. They're going to be uh, doing a job and joined at the workplace by uh, Stephen. Uh, but he'll have had an old job, which will be suggested to him now by somebody in the studio audience. Uh, oh, you're very quickly in there with Dustman. Well, no, I, I suppose it's fine. I think, no, no, I think that's very good. So, you're uh, two surgeons doing an operation, joined by a third surgeon who used to be a Dustman. So, uh, where you go? Uh, <coughs> right, Sir Charles, I think we better scrub up. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> How many have you scored? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I've brought my own scalpels. <laughs> not on the patient, not on the Wait, patient. What are you doing? <laughs> What's all that in there? We don't want it in there, do I? I'll put it in here. Oh, <laughs> oh, but I'll tell you, I'll strap that to the front of the, my car, you know, cheer people up as I drive past. <laughs> the spleen! Put the spleen back! The spleen! Oh, put sorry. the spleen back! Sorry. sorry about that, sorry about that. That was his spray, all right? That was his spray! Pick a spray out! The spray out! That's the anaesthetist. She can hear perfectly well. She's a what? Anaesthetist. She shouldn't drink so much, then, should she? <laughs> Would you like to. Hey, give me five! Yeah! Oh, no, yeah! Scrub up, scrub up, scrub up, scrub up. We've done the scrubbing up. Yes, good, good. Oh, no, I can't do that. Why not? I can't get away Sunday, innit? I can't make a decision on the Sunday. I can't make a decision on the Sunday either. This person is dying. Are you going to lead this operation or not? You've got to go in. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. But I want a good Christmas box out of it. You can, you can... I'm not making any cuts until I get at least a couple of half a grand. All right, all right. <laughs> You'll have to scrub up again now. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Do you realise the patient's been lying in the sink all this time? <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good. Very good. Yes. All right, 19 each. Now we come to a game called Courtroom Scene. Very complicated, this. Now, uh, Jim, you're going to be playing a judge. So you'll naturally sit on a stool, which is what, of course, judges always sit on. Mm -hmm. And Stephen, you'll be over there being the prosecutor in a case, whilst uh, Steve and Tony will be playing the witnesses. Um, there are lots of different witnesses. And in the course of this game, uh, Stephen will be trying to prove a case. Uh, some crime and be calling witnesses to do it. I think this will make sense once we get going. If not, I've just wasted my time explaining it all. Uh, so, can you think of a nice crime? Nice sort of. A murderous affair. Sort of crime of passion. That, yeah, that's quite good. Uh, so, it's a, a crime of passion you're trying to prove. And away you go. Thank you, my lord. Crime of passion, as we know, is the most common crime committed involving passion. <laughs> oh, well put, sir. Well put. There I rest my case. No. <laughs> I would like to call the first witness, who was a uh, witness to the murder, as it happened on the 4th of the 9th, on January. <laughs> Could you state your name and occupation, please? My name is Princess Margaret! <laughs> yes, and what do you do? I'm very soon in line for the throne, and can I have a drink? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, we cannot oblige you at this moment. Princess Margaret. Could you tell us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, excellently put, I felt. Who's your next witness? Move this thing along. I've got a very important lunch. My lord, my next witness yeah. is my star witness, who should crack this case wide open. <laughs> now, this boy, poor boy here, <laughs> has no parents, as they murdered each other in a lover's argument. Could you tell us what the argument was about, little Billy? It was all about you. <laughs> it was about you coming in between them, the way you did. It was one of those nights. <laughs> I think you'd been drinking. I smelt drunk man's drink on your breath. <laughs> I suggest you withdraw that. All right, you wait here, wait here. This, as we all know, is the late Freddie Johnson. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Yes, it is. I'm just fresh from Panto. What do you want to know? Look at that. <laughs> oh, splendid witness. Ask him to do the pussy joke, would you? <laughs> I think that one wrong. <laughs> Will you raise your right hand? No, I want to do the pussy joke. No, you can't do the pussy joke. All right. Raise your right hand. <laughs> raise your left hand. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Fair enough, I've heard. Heard more than enough. You've outlined the case very well. Thank you, my lord. I have no choice but to find the person guilty because they're obviously not a mason. 
Well, let's end on that. And, uh, well, we, we started and began and ended on a satirical note there, and in between it was pure farce. But anyway, I, I have to give some points for that, but I'll do that later. Now, we come to a game called The World's Worst. It's for all four contestants. I'd like to step forward to The World's Worst Step. And step forward with examples, please, of The World's Worst Person to do an operation on you. Okay, just the thing, I'll buzz me and get the idea. Away you go. Uh, let's go for a kebab first. <laughs> <laughs> I've done thousands of appendectomies. Don't worry, I can... Where's the, uh, where's the patient, then? <laughs> Hold still, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Uh, where's, where's the patient? <laughs> uh, Go on then. Oh. <laughs> now, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to saw the patient in half right now. And here's a patient I cut up later. <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Um, I'm terribly sorry, I'm not the surgeon. Um, I'm a xylophonist. <laughs> no, I'll be all right, might be a bit shaky. I mean, after I lost the last one, they left me off this for a long time. But, uh... Oh, I'm glad you're in. I've cold out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you much. Well, I'll work out the fun for that game. We'll take a break. See you after that. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back, viewers, and you're just too late to hear the points I gave for that last game. But moving on, we come to a game called uh, Props. Now, Tony and Steve, uh, could you come down? I'll give you this item, and you have to come up with as many different ways of using that as possible. Um, <laughs> Stephen and Jim, there's... Uh, oh, I've broken it already, but uh, it's probably obvious what that's supposed to be, but uh, can you think of lots of different ways of using that? And we'll cross between the two pairings on my buzzer. Starting with you, please, Tony and Steve. <coughs> Right, well, this is the new British Rail logo. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Are they too much for earrings? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first photograph we have of a black hole. Hey, you can see it. <laughs> Hello, Noddy. <laughs> well, Doctor, we've done the brain scan of Paul Gascoigne's head. <laughs> Boyson's mouth! Ah! <laughs> so, have you ever been an air traffic controller before? No, no. <laughs> yes, yes, licorice pizza, that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> when you go, step <laughs> <get> back. <laughs> no, Jeremy Beetle, jump! <laughs> <laughs> You played the Joker card by mentioning Jeremy Beadle, so that's funny. And I won't give any points for that. A uh, great TV performer, Jeremy. Um, so, uh, <laughs> there we go. Now we play a game called Party Quirks. This features Tony Slattery, he's the host of a party. All the others are guests of the party. They're looking in the envelopes in front of them. Inside the envelope, they'll find a strange way of behaving or quirk. Uh, which has been suggested by uh, members of the studio audience, and Tony Stadley's got to work out what the quirk is because he doesn't know what they are. So, Tony, if you'd like to come down uh, hosting the party, the other three come in uh, from the other side like that, in the order of Steve, Jim, then Stephen. <coughs> is the party. Oh, heavens, yes, I, I'm totally nervous. I've never come as a. Uh, uh, held to come as a Michael Jackson party. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was enjoying that. <laughs> Steve, come uh, in. Mr. Money Penny, nice to see you. <laughs> You're looking. James Bond, aren't you? <laughs> Bye. And, and this you... party's crap. <laughs> <laughs> and you had the James Bond costume and everything. Didn't you? Hello, James. Stink up. Boom. <laughs> How you going? Have the others turned up yet? Boom. Are the others here? Bright, Butler, Charlie, Donnelly, Farrell, Franky, Foodie, Friend, Hogan, Hughes, Janiszewski, Jones, and Tinsley, McCann, McDonald, Miss Grannis, Warner, Henry, O'Shea, Pierce, and Pierce, Richard, Rosalski, Seekman, 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 
I think you'd better go. <laughs> no, be back. You're in a very boisterous mood. Oh, you? I certainly am. Hello. Let him in first. Let him in first. <laughs> uh, I'll just go upstairs. Go on a fag, all right? I'll go straight upstairs. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll stay down here now. I'll stay down there. I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, would you like something to drink? I'd like. Uh, yes, please. I'd like a lager top. <laughs> A lager top? Yes, lager top, please. Yeah, yeah. There's like a lemonade, uh, lager, and there's a top in it. Right, thank there you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Oh. Play a game, then play a game. See who can pee highest up the wall. Wait a minute, can I... That was a genuine shagal, that was. And it's marginally better now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Can I see your uh, invite? Please, to invite? The yeah, where's your invite? Hang Have on, you... Tony, you've got the last oh, um, couple yes, of seconds. Yes, yes, um, I, I don't want either of you here because, because you're, you're a hyperactive schoolboy. No, you're not. Come back to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a bus conductor. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Come in, I could hit him in the nuts oh, when he turns up. Oh, naughty school oh, boy, you're uh, a... Oh, you're not really gonna... He's, he's uh, on a sort of reunion, from an old school friend on a reunion. Huh? <laughs> 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 there it is. Um... Well, I don't know, 43 points. Can't give him any points to you, Jim, there, because uh, you fooled Tony Slattery, which is just too easy. <laughs> now, uh, this... This is <laughs> called film dubbing. And uh, this is for Tony and Stephen, if you'd like to come down. We've got a film here, from which the original soundtrack has been removed. Can you add a new soundtrack? Or can you do it uh, as though one of you is going to see the bank manager? And the film will be starting any second now. <laughs> ah, so you're the man who calls... Oh. <laughs> you want an overdraft, do you? Well, I'll be having those for a start-off. <laughs> I, I want more than an overdraft. I want a bridging loan. Do you realise how long it took me to get into this suede jumpsuit? <laughs> Ah, here's my horse. I'm gonna put him down as collateral. What do you say to that, Mr. Mustache Man? Don't talk to me like that, boy -o. I've seen that horse. It used to work down a pit. He didn't used to work down a pit. You're not so fast, not so fast. I'm not going fast. I'm gonna sit in your chair. You just sat on my pet hamster. <laughs> Is that one of yours, then? It's... <laughs> oh! Yeah, take that, Smart you... Smart Alec. Oh, oh, you missed. <laughs> You're gonna give me the money now, whether all right, you all like right. it or not. Where's the gun? Oh, it's over here. There are two of them. I'm gonna put them back in my pantyhose, which is on the outside of my... You... Do you, do you fancy a Tessa? As you can probably guess, I gave 19 points everyone in that last game. Now we come to a game called Helping Hands. This is going to feature Tony Slattery, if you'd like to come down ready to do this. And uh, Jim, you'll also be acting, but to help Jim, he won't have to do his own hands. And Steve Steen will be providing the hands for him. And the <laughs> idea is, yeah. you're organising a bank raid, and you're explaining to somebody else in the gang, <laughs> who is Tony, you know, what he's got to do and what's going to go on. Okay, so you're going to the gang leader to be told what's happening. What's the scam, boss, then? Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I'll, 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 what's, what's wrong with you now? Don't give me that. I'm going to stomp, stomp, knock it, knock it. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> right, go all the gear here. Go all the gear here, right? <laughs> right first thing you've got to do, right? Make sure you're well disguised by uh, Maurice, right? <laughs> Put that on. You, you stick that on. You stick that on. Brilliant, right? boss. <laughs> oh, who are you? I don't know who you are. Brilliant. Excellent. Boss, 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 boss. What? It's me. It's you. Oh, me. It's if you're in the room. I'll be, uh, I'll be wearing these. I'll be wearing, uh, I'll be wearing these. I'll be wearing a gun like that. Uh, they'll think it's just a funny moustache. And then I'll pull the gun on them and say, ah, oh, it's a gun, not a moustache. Oh. Is that you? Yes! Oh, it is. Oh, no, it's amazing. Must be so gun for the moustache. Gun for the moustache. Oh, probably. <laughs> what are we going to do with... What are we going to do with these? With the... With the, <laughs> with the blue knickers. <laughs> oh, blue knickers. All oh, right, with these. These, I'll be wearing these on my... On my head. You see? Great! I'll be, I'll be going straight on with these. See? They'll be just going on... Be going on there. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> uh, and I'll think, uh, think I'm from some weird religious set, and then you take the dynamite, take the dynamite, right? take the dynamite. <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't like it yet, don't like it yet. Who are you put on the side, didn't they? Look, I was in the right. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, so you, you're back in a bloody beard, my leg. And now I've got this here. <laughs> I mean, you put on me shades, right? Just in case they, you know, spotted a thing on me head. I'll get rid of that quickly. Put on me, put on me dark glasses. Uh, loose some blood in me ears. And then... <laughs> take that off again. 
Oh, what do you think, then? It's the plan. I've got a plan here. Oh, oh, well. <laughs> oh, I've got a plan, right? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. What, 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 what? What about the secret microchip which is in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> of course! Of course! What a fool I've been! That, where did I put that microchip in? It was in that pocket, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> points to Jim and Steve and Tony just made it a little bit smutty at the end there so I'll give you 4,000 now <laughs> now we come to a game called March this is a musical round all four contestants will be making up a song in the form of a march with the assistance of Richard Branch at the piano so you like to come down ready to do this and it's gonna be about uh, well can somebody suggest some big life event that they'd like to hear people sing about wedding, wedding? yeah Enjoy wedding's fun there's a big life event for people who get married obviously not so important people <laughs> You don't get married? It's not a event at all. But anyway, start off with you, Jim. Where we go? About a wedding. A wedding march. <laughs> I'm going to get married. Yes, get married very soon. And then we're off to Europe to go on the honeymoon. We'll be leaving bright and early, off one day from Dover, as soon as I get rid of this bloody great hangover. <laughs> to get married and married at my church I'm going to get married to the prettiest wife I know I am going to get there and as soon as I arrive I'm going to fall down because I'm pissed so I'll take a dive <laughs> I'm a little bridesmaid I like to catch the flowers I haven't caught them once and I've been standing here for hours I've got a lovely frock on it's made of silk and, and silk and after I've drank all the champagne, have a glass of milk. <laughs> I got married yesterday. I had an awful time. I drank two bottles of crappy British wine. I'm going to leave my wife as quickly as I can because I don't like her. I like the best man. <laughs> The last game of the evening, and totting up the points, I see that this week's winner is Jim Sweeney. So well done, oh. well done, Jim. Uh, uh, well, the price, price of winning is to price of winning is to do the credits in a style of my choosing. Do you like to do it in the style of a memory man, please, Jim. Okay. So <laughs> just remains for me to thank Jim Sweeney, Steve Steen, Stephen Frost, Tony Slatter, Richard Brown, the panelists, me, Clive Allison, saying good night. Good night. <laughs> Titles once I saw them two days ago. The show is called uh, yeah, something, something. Anyway, there was uh, uh, no, a bit, a big bloke. I'll tell you there, the, 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 the flattery. Um, Jim Sweeney was in the program, but I, I can't copy. Uh, then there was the the person who mixes the uh, vision. Is there anybody in the audience called Doris? I'm, I'm picking up something from from or Tom. It's Doris or Tom. And then there was uh, there was a lot of other people involved. It did lots of things. There was a bloke walk around, and then there was uh, there was that, that, that man who sat behind the desk. And uh, is anybody from Bournemouth? <laughs> Are they going back that way? Can they give me a lift? <laughs> uh, and I think it was uh, uh, a hat trick production, yeah. <laughs>